Wonder Woman is literally the best female superhero from the DC Universe. I watched the official trailer for Wonder Woman 2 recently and I was like, oh my There was some classic 1980s soundtrack, a new golden suit and a super hot superhero kicking butt. Wonder Woman 1984 will have our main character Diana Prince played by Israeli actress Gal Gadot saving the world once again from an unstoppable threat. It was revealed that there will be one or two villains that will be stirring the pit of drama in this DC movie. The first being Max Lord, a multi-millionaire businessman played by actor Pedro Pascal. He looks like a blatant bad guy straight from the get-go. The teaser makes it look so obvious. There are some things in the trailer that are really bothering me. Like, what the hell? Steve Trevor, what, what the hell is Steve Trevor doing in this movie? Didn't he get killed off in the last one? The other thing that's bothering me is Barbara Minerva. She is shown off to be this friend of Wonder Woman, but then later on you find out that she's actually Cheetah, who is the arch nemesis of Wonder Woman in the comic book series. Barbara, at first glance, doesn't seem like a character with superpowers. Oh well, we'll see what she's like when the movie comes out. The cast for Wonder Woman 1984 looks pretty talented, so I'm sure the quality of this blockbuster will be pretty high. I mean, in regards to superhero movies, the first installment stood on par with movies like Spider-Man, Marvel's The Avengers, and The Dark Knight in the box office. So this super female character is no laughing matter. Wonder Woman is a big deal. In terms of female-led comic book movies, I would have to say Wonder Woman is by far the best. I haven't heard of anyone praising Catwoman or Elektra for being any good. Catwoman's movies has a reputation of being a train wreck. What about Elektra? What's the movie about again? I forgot that it even existed until I did my research. One other contender as a female superhero is Captain Marvel from the Marvel Universe. Captain Marvel has some awesome abilities and she's a bit overpowered, but she lacks the one thing that Wonder Woman has. Captain Marvel lacks relatability. The Amazonian superhero is a strong, independent woman who has a strong heart that everyone cares for and loves. Wonder Woman's character was created in 1941 thanks to William Moulton Marston. William wanted to make a female icon that girls could look up to. He created a feminine character with all the strengths of Superman plus all the allure of a good and beautiful woman. Oh, and by the way, Wonder Woman's costume was inspired by pinups that soldiers were obsessed with during the World War era. As a final point, I would like to say how much I adore the actress who plays Wonder Woman. She fits the acting role so well. Godot has expressed her feelings towards playing as Wonder Woman. This is what she had to say. We knew it was tricky. We wanted a balance between portraying her as confident and strong and feminine and warm, she says. I didn't want her to be too bossy. You can be powerful and also loving. With all that I know about Wonder Woman, I can say that she's amazing and the greatest female superhero of the DC Universe. I'm looking forward to watching the movie as soon as it comes out. I have a question for you. Who do you think is the best female superhero? Let me know who is better and why. Looking forward to your response. Thank you for watching. Click the like button if you enjoy the video. Subscribe and ring the bell for more content. Looking forward to seeing you next time on Richard Draw Stuff.